Hello everyone, it's great to be back to talk about our first quarter of 2018. We've continued to work extremely hard in a transition year as we transition away from our reliance on a single deposit around the Meadowbank processing facility to a much bigger production base in Nunavut. We produced 390,000 ounces in the quarter. That gets us off to a very good start relative to our full year guidance. Our costs are tracking guidance in terms of total cash cost. The nice thing about the start is we're generating significant cash flows. Our cash generated in the business exceeds 200 million and that's going to help us move these projects forward from a financial standpoint, giving us the financial flexibility that allows us to deliver this production growth as we move into 2019. Meliadine is a large asset and a big opportunity for us. Its reserve and resource is our largest single gold deposit. We've gotten off to an excellent start in 2018 in terms of advancing the project. The key driver for the project start date, which has been accelerated into the second quarter of 2019, is the completion of the surface construction, the key buildings, the process plant, the power plant. We've made great progress on both of those installations so that we're tracking extremely well relative to the start date in Q2 2019. At Amaruk, it's a satellite deposit. We'll be shipping ore into the Meadowbank processing facilities. We're awaiting our permit, our final permit, to begin dike construction and open pit construction. We would expect to receive that permit by the middle of this year. We have also lined up all the key items for this summer's barge season, so everything's tracking well for startup of Amaruk production in the third quarter of 2019. That drives production, as we said, as we track to 2020, where we expect to produce 2 million ounces. So that'll be about a 30% increase in our overall gold output from 2018 to 2020. Exploration continues to be a fundamental driver of how we build value in our business. Our budget in 2018 is almost $160 million. Of that, a little over 20 million is being spent on a ramp at Amaruk. That's critical to outlining the growing deposit that we see below the open pits at Amaruk. We've now traced the whale tail deposit down to below 900 meters. That ramp will give us a platform to see the extent of that mineralization at Amaruk. But a particular note in the quarter was the drill results we got at the Canadian Malartic deposit. When we bought that asset with our partner Yamana in 2014, Part of wanting to get involved in that situation was our view that there was good potential to find additional gold mineralization below the open pit. We would expect before the end of the year that we start an underground ramp on the growing resource at the Odyssey and East Malartic deposits below the Canadian Malartic open pit. At Agnico, we're always looking to upgrade our pipeline. We were fortunate in the first quarter to close on a deal to buy the remaining interest in the Kirkland Lake camp and the remaining interest in the Hammond Reef Camp. We now have 100% of both projects. It's just an extension of the mineralized belt that we've operated in for decades in Quebec. So we've got high expectations for both projects and we'll have more news on the next steps for both projects as we move into 2019. So as we look forward, the nice thing about this is that our capital required to invest in the business falls dramatically beginning next year at the same time as the cash generated by the expanding production profile rises significantly. That extra cash flow will strengthen our financial position and allow us to fund future development and future projects as well as increase the dividend to our shareholders. Our competitive advantages are people. We've got the right people in the right places with the right assets to continue to build this business steadily over time and deliver for our shareholders on a per share basis.